Anthony and I'm Jonathan and at my right we have I'm Maya I'm Lui and at my left we have I'm Pushin I'm Mei and I'm Wei Wei and let it begin okay Jesus did not come to start a new religion. He came to show us what God is like. God's mercy, love, willingness to sacrifice. He came to show us reality as it was intended, a life lived in a relationship with God. Through the cross, Jesus offered us the same kind of life. He was rejected so we could be accepted. Jesus died so we could have life. The kind of life we were created to live. A life in connection with God. God sacrificed His only Son so we could experience forgiveness, purpose, love, and grace. Life with God is not about a religion, it's about a relationship. Many people think that Christianity is about Santa Claus, Great Nose Deer and Christmas tree, but it's not. Although Christian is a religion to the eyes of others, but to Christian, it is a relationship between humans and God. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. On the sixth day, human was created. By the seventh day, God finished all the work he had been doing and rested from all his work. God blessed the seventh day and made it holy. When human fell into sin, the relationship between human and God became a part. The story of beginning of the sin all start from Adam and Eve. This is because they ate the fruit of tree of knowledge that the God told them not to eat. Once they eat, they shall die. So God has a plan to save human from sin. The plan is Messiah, which is Jesus Christ. The Bible says, God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. The Bible is like a library. It has a total of 66 holy books. The duration of the time Bible is written takes around 1,500 years. The whole Bible was written, written by more than 40 authors all over the world. It was written in different places and different era. It was written in Hebrew, Greek, and Aramaic. All that I have explained just now prove that reliability and trustness of Bible. Imagine different people from different places in different era that can come out to, be, to become a book that appears to be zero in conflict and clash when they are combined together. This could not be done without the inspiration of God. The Bible once says that our human bodies are made up from the dust of the ground. These facts have been proven by scientists who discover human body are comprised of 28 pieces of and trace elements which are found in the earth. 500 years ago, people believed that the earth is flat surface and they thought Columbus will fill down when he walked to the end of the earth. Meanwhile, the people who Read Bible will feel they are stupid, as the Bible already states that the Earth is circle. Before proof that Earth is hanging in the space, 
There is a lot of belief that the Earth is located on an animal. Some believe the Earth is holding by a giant atlas. In addition, some people believe the Earth is hanging by a rock. But according to the Bible, the Earth is hanging in the space. Matthew Fontaine Maury is the founder of the Ocean Road. He was known as the father of the modern oceanography. There is a statue of him at Richmond, Virginia, which one of his hand holding the ocean map and one another hand holding the Olivo. His research of the ocean road is related to the Olivo because he once heard that the Bible said the birds of the air and the fish of the seas all that swim the path of the seas. After a few years of researching, he successfully drew the ocean map. symbol in our daily life such as ambulance and the hospital. The cross symbol is the symbol of death in the ancient time. Uh, the cross symbol is the most torturous and painful punishment in the ancient age from about 6th century BC. In Christianity, the cross is the intersection of God, love and His justice. This is because the Jesus Christ uh, sacrificed Himself to bear the sin of the world because without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness. For me, he did this for me. Jesus is the only son of God. He was the beginning and he was with God in the beginning. Through him, all things were made. Without him, nothing was made. He is life and he is the light of man. He was in the world and the world was made through him. But the world did not recognize him. So he gave a gift to those who believe and receive in his name. A right for humans to become the children of God. This is a gift from God. But it depends on man's willingness to accept the gift. There is already a prediction of Jesus Christ coming to the world before his birth. Mother Mary got pregnant through Holy Spirit before getting married to her fiancé Joseph. So Jesus did not inherit the sin of human. He is the first and only human that is sinless. While Joseph had in mind the idea to divorce Mary, an angel appeared in his dream to tell him that the baby is from the Holy Spirit and she will give birth to a son named Jesus because he will save his people from sin. Jesus is born in a manger in Bethlehem, which is now a city in Palestine. The birth of Jesus in the manger but not in other better places shows that he did not came to be served, but he came to serve. Jesus teach about, he always teach about truth to people. According to the Bible, what good will it be for a man if he gains the whole world, yet fulfill his soul? Or what can a man give in exchange of his soul? Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about himself. Each day has enough trouble of his own. Honor your father and mother and love your neighbor as yourself. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through himself. According to God's view, Jesus was handed over to the cruel people. They crucified him on the cross because they do not believe him as the son of God and they think that he was polluting the name of God. Even though he was crucified on the cross, he did not blame them. 
because he knows that people do not know what they are doing. And he gave his life as a ransom for the people. punishment that brought us peace was upon him and by his wound we are healed. The resurrection of Jesus Christ is the main point of Christianity. Jesus Christ has prophesied, declared his death and resurrection. His prophesies came, one, came through one by one. According to the Bible, he resurrected three days after his death. Jesus promised that he will come again the second time and meet and welcome his believer and judge the living and the dead. Satan will be forever tortured in the lake of fire and by the time there will be a new heaven and new earth ruled by Jesus. God will live in us and wipe out all the tears of human. There will be no death, no sorrows, no tears, no pains when the time comes. My faith in Jesus Christ was sealed after seven years of wondering why God I was born this way. Uh, he answered me very clearly through John chapter 9 and I gave my life to Jesus at 15 after reading about how he came across a man who was born blind. And I'm like, hey, hold on a second. This looks interesting. <laughs> and no one knew why he was born that way. I'm like, perfect. So I read on and in verse three of the ninth chapter, Jesus said, it was done so that the works of God would be revealed through him. And I'm like, wow, God, if you had a plan for the blind man, you do have a plan for me. And that was the beginning of my personal relationship with Jesus. Opportunities were opening up everywhere for me to share my testimony. I was speaking in front of 300 sophomore public high school students. Three minutes into it, half the girls were crying. One girl in the middle of the room started weeping. She put up her hand and she said, I'm so sorry to interrupt, but can I come up there and give you a hug? In front of everyone, she came and she hugged me. She cried on my shoulder and whispered in my ear. No one's ever told me that they love me. No one's ever told me that I'm beautiful the way that I am. I couldn't believe it. It changed my life. At that moment, I knew God was ministering to her through me. It's not by my speech or my power. It was God. And my heart was ignited with a passion and it was an awesome day to see one soul transformed forever. That 
was when I knew I was called to be a worldwide evangelist. Today, do not leave here unchanged. Leave here unchanged. You don't know what God can do with your broken pieces until you give God your broken pieces. And I want you to know when you fall down, God's grace is sufficient. God's hand will come down and pick you up. And give you the strength to get back up. In the first seven years of ministry, God opened up doors for me to speak 2,000 times across 44 countries on six continents from university campuses, 40,000 students in China to India, where we're talking to sex slaves, to crowds in the jungle of India, 110,000 people, down to Indonesia and all of Southeast Asia to speaking at congresses of nations like Colombia and Costa Rica, where you see the leaders of that nation commit that country to the Lord Jesus. To Korea and speaking to the next generation about depression and suicide and to Eastern Europe, where we did Serbia, Slovenia and Croatia. And then doors in the Middle East, the message of hope was spread throughout the whole Arab world. That is God. And we know We've just begun. As a conclusion, we know that our God is a living God. He knows you. He knows me. And you know what? He loves you so much that He died for you on the cross so that you can be free from sin. Because without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness. The true God is a holy and righteousness God. All the thoughts and action of man comes under his holy light and cannot be hidden. The only way to return to God is by repentance and have faith in our Lord Jesus. Because Jesus answered that, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. God bless you all.